wanted. Uh, well, we'll go for a trumpet. Well, hello, welcome to part two of my uh, hints and tips for the Orla RS600. Uh, we're still on the same sound. I'm on my favourite sound, that theatre organ sound. It's got the little Celesta. I didn't want a Celesta really, though, for the, the end of uh, Sing As We Go. It wants to have a nice trumpet fanfare. So let's talk about changing voices, and we can change some octaves as well. And also I can tell you about the importance of all the things that you can do using this little information screen, which really is a wealth of information when it comes to changing octaves, changing... You can even add sustain and change the sound completely. So come over... The, I tell you what, come over the screen, and I'll show you some of the little buttons that we can push and have fun uh, discovering new sounds on the RS600. Now the information screen gives you information on the last button that you pushed, the last voice button. So for instance, here we're on upper one, it's the cinema organ. Upper two, what was that? It was the tibia. Well, we want to adjust the lead voice down to lower and the lead voice it tells you here is Celesta and we want to change the Celesta into a trumpet so let's have a, oh there's a brass thing there, it push, says push brass and we push brass and we can change the Celesta into a muted trumpet but that's not really suitable so we're going to use the little wheel to scroll through until we find the right sound that we want. I'm just, I, I always do that, I just use the little wheel until I come across the one in the brass section that will really fit. Come right over the screen and I'll show you how we're adjusting it. So there on the screen, because I push brass on the lead voice, it's telling me that the upper lead voice, which we've got on the lower keyboard, of course we've moved it down to the lower, it says two lower on the button, is a muted trumpet. And that's not really the suitable sound for the theatre organ trumpet. We want more of a theatre organ sound. So we can use either the little wheel or we can use the plus or the minus uh, data. There we go, plus data, plus data. See it altering as we plus data, minus data. We can go backwards and forwards. Or we could use the little wheel and the little wheel does exactly the same thing. I use the little wheel if I've got two voices that are a long way apart when I'm changing. If you've got like 20 or 30 instead of having to push the button each time it's as easy to just whiz through the little wheel like that tuba, it's very high, they're all, they're all an octave high at the moment there, that's a nice one you've got trumpet there that's got vibrato, listen very sweet that's more of an orchestral trumpet well, I want the other one, it just says trumpet and that's the one Perfect for a theatre organ, it's got that nice uh, strident sort of attack. You can adjust the attack, but I'll show you how to do that later. What we want to do now is alter the octave. So we push the item page one, two, three, four, five, and now it says octave. And we want to take that down one. So we can either use the data minus to take it down, or we could use the little wheel. I'd use the data minus, it's, it's uh, tidier. Just one push. Now we're down an octave. Pushed it again, we'd be down. That's too, too low. Two octaves. We go back. Minus one. Minus one octave. Yeah, and I can go all the way up. Two octaves, and it sounds absolutely perfect. Perfect. So now we can capture that sound and we have our trumpet. Another useful thing that we can do using the screen, and you notice I've gone back to the Celesta now, the ordinary sound that we had in preset 12. That Celesta has got a little bit of sustain on it, listen. Now we can make that sustain a lot longer, but there's no sustain switch on the lead voice. So how do we do it? We go onto a thing called release. So now I'm going to push the item page. You see the little cursor go from one, that's the volume, panning from left to right, tuning, uh, transposing it, a whole note, a whole semitone, octave, which we've just used, attack, which uh, slows the attack up, Decay, which is uh, another way of altering the timbre of the note, like treble and bass. 
but this is the important one, release. Now release is exactly what it says. When you play a note and release the note, it drops the sound. It's a percussive sound. We've got the celesta is a percussion sound. Release and the note goes away. Now we can make that release a lot longer. In other words, we can use it like sustain. So look, right at the end, I push the button until the little cursor, the little thing is flashing. Under the word release, it's flashing at 58. Let's increase it, see what we can do. Can you hear it getting longer? I'm letting go of the note. As I let go of the note, the sustain lasts longer, longer, longer. Let's see how long we can make it. That's almost too long, there we go. What's that, about 88, 87, let's go down. Perfect. So now let's bring the uh, camera back so that you can see what I'm doing and listen to how we've altered that release now. We've added sustain to the Celesta on the lower keyboard. But of course you could do that on any, any single sound you can add uh, sustain to, no matter which keyboard and no matter which sound you can add sustain by altering the word release. So now with that release on the Celesta, on the bottom split, the Celesta is now much longer, it's going on, it's 86 it's on now. So now although that, that voice is a monophonic voice, because you've got the sustain, I use my right hand to copy the chord and play it like an arpeggio. So now we get a beautiful sustained Celesta. The sustain holds all the notes together as if it was polyphonic. And that's useful. Release. So now I've gone back to the upper keyboard voices. Voice one, we're on organ and we have flute 16 and 2 foot, 16 and 4 foot, let's bring it down again. 16 and 8 foot. Any further, well, we're, on to, we're on to the accordions now, so let's stay with all the organs. Tibias. So it's a very useful thing when you've got one of the sounds down, when you're trying to find the sound that you want, use the little wheel. Use your ears. So we're going to take it down now. I'm going to take it down to 16 and 2. Then we go down to 16 and 8. She's on 16 and 8. Now we can alter those octaves and we can bring it in. So 16 and 4. Go on, let's do your mathematics. If we take it at one octave, let's, uh, let's uh, go on to the item page. Plus, plus, plus until we get the word octave. So 16 and 8 becomes 8 and 4 if we take it up an octave. It becomes 4 and 2 foot. Very little. And by doing this, bear in mind we've got two lots of organs, we can actually create fabulous sounds. Anything that uh, you could do with full complements of drawbars, you can do it very easily by using your flute sounds here. Let's bring the second, second one in. Alter the octaves. Take it up one. And if we started with an organ that was even higher, let's do that uh, 16 and 8, 16 and, 16 and 2 foot, little baby one. Very nice bright sound. Now let, if we take that up we get 8 and 1 foot, so let's halve it. Let's take the octave up. Take it up one more. And so it's down. So now we've got a 32 foot. It's too deep, you wouldn't use that. That's the beauty of using the little wheel and using your ears to listen to. That's too high, too low rather. I don't like that one. So take it up a bit. Up one octave. That's it. Now if we do a mixture of those two. of different organ sounds that you can get. That's nice and mellow. Hey, what did we do? 
use the release to add a bit of sustain to that. Let's do it like that. There we go. further let's push the item page until we get onto the vibratos and we can actually increase the vibrato vibrato depth and then go back onto vibrato rate and we can get a little bit faster so there's the vibrato rate speed in other words the speed of the run hey it's singing that's it about there what are we on 70 70 78. So there are literally thousands of different organ sounds that you can get using the uh, information screen with these little buttons here to go through the vibratos. We can alter vibrato, we can alter the resonance. Let's do that. Let's take that down so it's really smooth, very mellow. Auto rate. Very sweet. There we go. Thanks for listening, and uh, that's enough for now. But uh, next time we'll be increasing the use of the uh, screen and some of the fabulous things that you can do to create different sounds on your Aula RS600. Thank you for listening.